I think the Internet of today is different from uh, the Internet of the 1990s or even uh, in 2002 when the whole discussion in the United Nations started. Today issues are totally different. It's now Web 2.0, it's uh, all the Facebooks and MySpace and YouTubes. And in so far, some of the more critical issues of the past you know, are now surrounded by even more critical issues. And I think this uh, is interesting to see the shift of priorities and that we today have to see a lot of the controversies of the past in this new environment. And the good thing with the Internet Governance Forum is that this is a space for discussion because nobody has an answer. We are searching for answers. And uh, the, uh, if you are uh, discuss under the pressure to have a final outcome or negotiated language at the end, then you know you will distort the discussion. So that means this is really a unique space for free uh, discussion, and that's very good. It's unique in the in, in the international diplomacy of the last 200 years. I think this is one of the big new issues. You know, if you come to Facebook, for instance, then you exhibit yourself by giving you know some of the uh, some of the uh, your personal data. And uh, it, suddenly the privacy issue, you know, becomes very important and privacy is linked to security. Because, you know, a lot of governments think, oh, say, if they know more about our private life, uh, this will help to fight terrorism. So, but there is no proof that this is really a direct relationship, you know. I was in a meeting of the Computer Freedom and Privacy Conference a couple of years ago where somebody said, you know, it's nearly impossible uh, really to have a direct link between, you know, more governmental oversight or, let's say, uh, a surveillance and, and, and more security. Um, and uh, we have to live with a lot of new risks and new dangers and we have to look for answers. So that means this is not to say, you know, we, should, we shouldn't do anything against uh, cyber terrorists or cyber criminals, but, you know, to go deep into the private life of, of individuals is a high risk. And uh, at the same time, what I said a little bit earlier, uh, there is a new understanding of what privacy is. The new generation, the youngsters of today, the teenagers, you know, see it probably in a different way than my generation did. So I'm still, you know, uh, want to have my private place and my place where I'm silent and have no duty to communicate with anybody. But, you know, a new generation will define a new culture and let's wait and see how this will work.